Why would you avoid moving to Richardson, Texas? Uh, we'll get into it. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here, and we get questions all the time about why somebody would move to Texas or the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and today we are specifically talking about Richardson, Texas. Now, our offices are in Richardson, Texas. Many of our team members live in Richardson, Texas. It is a wonderful place to live, but why would someone not want to live here? There's not a lot of great reasons, but there's a few that we've heard. One of them is that uh, the city of Richardson is in Dallas County, but it's Richardson Independent School District. So there's a little bit of mixed match going there. There's also parts of the city of Richardson that are Collin County and Plano schools. So there's a little bit of kind of hodgepodge happening there. And uh, there are some kind of hard to see, physically see, boundary lines. And so some people don't always kind of know. It's not quite as simple as a city that's got a county and a city and a school district that are kind of all one. So the schools are great, the city's great, the county's great. So there's nothing really huge negative there, but we, we've heard some complaints just about potentially the confusion of issues there. Um, that There's, you know, if you're a buyer from outside the area, that can sometimes make things a little bit harder to figure out. Um, it's not terribly difficult to figure out if you have the help of an expert, but it can complicate the issue a bit. Now, here's a reason I have heard that's a negative for Richardson, but it is not actually a negative. One of those is public transportation. Richardson actually has an unbelievably unfair share of public transportation compared to most of the markets in the area. The DART is the Dallas Area Rapid Transit, and there are buses and rail, but, but Richardson has more DART rail stops for the size of city we are than, than any other city outside of you know, Dallas itself, which is really, really large. So as far as the suburbs or the cities around Dallas, Richardson has an, an unusually large number of DART stops, and there's actually a lot of mixed-use development right around those stops. And we've done some other videos on those, so I won't go into a lot of detail, but that's a reason some people would say not to move here that actually just isn't true, but it's worth noting because people have said it's really close to Dallas. It's kind of the first city outside of Dallas, but there's not a lot of transportation. And the fact of the matter is there is a lot, especially compared to other areas. Aren't they adding a silver line too? They are also adding a line that will take you from Richardson all the way to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, which is not crazy far away, but it's a reasonably long drive, especially with traffic, to be able to jump on the dart rail and get some work done or doze off or not worry about traffic and driving and all that will be a huge add for quite a few people. So that will have really great impact on Richardson and Plano and surrounding areas, but that's gonna be a massive uh, value add for Richardson. So uh, that one is something people say, I just don't think it's all that legitimate. Um, but one of the only other real negatives that people would bring up on Richardson in this regard would be uh, that the parts of Richardson are, are getting a little bit older. Now the fact remains, Technically speaking, Richardson is not a suburb. Richardson's been around about as long as Dallas. It did not crop up because of Dallas. Now, it was a rail stop, you know, years and years and years and years ago along a rail line. So it's been here for a while. Now, obviously, the growth of Richardson has had a lot to do with the growth of Dallas. So there are parts of Richardson that do feel a little bit older. Now, as far as development and housing and retail, there has been a lot of redevelopment. So outside of some core infrastructure like roads, alleyways, things like that, um, that's not, you're not gonna feel that age in the lifestyle of the city all that much. There have been some new schools built, there have been uh, road improvements and city beautification projects, bond elections that allowed for you know, sign toppers and new walls and things like that. There certainly are parts of Richardson that are newer and that are a little bit better planned as far as roadways and grid systems and things like that. So there's some relevance to the idea that, you know, every day, every city is getting older, but Richardson has kind of transitioned into a, a stage where some of the things that were part of that original boom that came with the development of Texas Instruments are now starting to feel a little bit older, but they are already being revitalized. The downtown area is being revitalized. We did a whole video on that. A lot of those dart rails we talked about a minute ago have been revitalized into mixed use projects. Uh, a lot of that's on the east side of the city and then over on the west side, there's been a lot of residential redevelopment as well as retail redevelopment. So a lot of exciting things happening. That's about all I could say. And some of those are even a stretch on why you would not move to Richardson because if it was me, I would strongly consider 
moving to Richardson. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you're interested in other cities around the area, make sure you bounce around our YouTube channel here. Subscribe, click that little bell so you know when we make new videos because we've done videos on lots of cities in and around Richardson and really in and around the entire Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, all of North Texas and some areas beyond that. So check it out, check out our relocation videos, check out our reasons to move to, reasons not to move to, and on and on and on. I hope you enjoy them. Like, comment, share. We read every comment. We'll respond there as long as it's appropriate. And if we need to take it offline, we'd love to do that. Of course, if we could help you buy or sell or invest in real estate in the area, we'd love to earn your business. Our information is below, and I will talk to you on the next one. Take care.